So let's dive more into the object rigging side of things and think about it in a way, well, what if I don't want a bunch of cubes parented to other cubes, or why do I have to have an object that represents the new origin point all the time? What if I don't want that to be there? Well, there's actually an empty object, and an empty object is just a completely non-visible reference point that works as an object, it acts like an object, and can be used as a parent for however many objects you want. So let's say I have this cube here and let's go ahead and recreate the hand kind of looking thing that we worked on last time. And if you remember the last one will look like a bunch of cubes and I'll show it on screen right here as a recording, but that will actually be recreatable without using the cubes themselves. But we're just gonna use just the fingers to make sure only the fingers are visible in case we only want those two cubes to be visible. And so I'll go ahead and recreate that now. We have uh, the, these two fingers here, right? And then we also have the cube here. This is how it looked before. Well, with these two parented to this cube, and this one parent to this cube, we had that looking that hand looking structure here, correct, right? We have that kind of arm, hand, finger look. Now, if we wanted only these two cubes to be visible, what we can do is we can actually delete these and replace them with empties. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete them now. And what I'm gonna do is, as you can see here, these are no longer parented to anything. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and create an empty with Shift A and then go to the empty menu. And then we're gonna go ahead and add a, just a plain axis. These are pretty simple to use and understand. I'm gonna go ahead and hit Alt G to make sure he's in the origin there. And as you can see here, this is a plain axis empty object. So the plain axis descriptor is basically talking about what it looks like. Empties can look like however you want. There's various different shapes, but they're all just completely null objects. And if you guys are familiar with null objects in say After Effects or something like that, it's exactly the same thing. It's just an empty reference point that can be used that has coordinates and everything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that there. I'm gonna show you the different shapes you can use. You can also have you know, a cone, you can have a, uh, a sphere, you can have a cube and such like that. So these are the different options that you have for how the empty will look like. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the plane axes here just so we can get an idea of how it rotates. And I'm gonna go ahead and, well, I'm just gonna duplicate it actually to make it another one over here. So I'm gonna select these two and then parent it to this guy as we did before. And then select this one and parent it to this guy as we did before. Except instead of cubes, now they're empty. So you can see here, it does exactly the same thing. So we have actually an arm looking thing as usual, but now only the fingers are visible. So if that's what you wanted, then you could use these empty objects for reference points. You can also use empty objects simply to change the entire object origin point of say a set or something like that. So let's say we have a giant, uh, you know, a giant set of cubes or, or better yet, you know, this is like a, a room or something. Let's go ahead and go inside the room here. Um, and uh, you can see there's a, you know, there's, there's gonna be a floor, right? Let's, let's go ahead and just make a floor here just like so. So that's the floor. We have uh, we have furniture or something, I don't know, whatever you wanna do. Make it a rather complex, but let's say you want to move the entire environment at once, but they're all different objects. Well, what you can do is you can simply just take all of this, and I'm just gonna take everything, including the camera and light for now. And you can actually do a very cool command. If you just press spacebar, you can actually search for a, a command called parent to empty. So you can see here, the search bar is very useful, by the way. You just press space bar to get the search bar up. You can search for any kind of tool. This parent to empty tool is very important. If we go ahead and use it, it will automatically create an empty labeled as objects, as you can see here, objects. And the way you get that name to show up, by the way, is if you go to the object mode and uh, right here under display, there is a name check mark. This is not usually turned on by default, but you can. And of course, the object name is over here and you can change this to whatever you want. So I can call this, you know, uh, set or something probably better like uh, environment one for example so that is uh, a good example of how you can use that and obviously now when you move this it moves the entire set even though it's just one object and of course you can also change this to whatever you want so I like to use cubes for the set so there's a giant cube here of course that's an empty cube and the rest are just normal cubes so that's a very very nice way oh you can also change the size of it so I can make this encompass the entire set so that I know this actually moves the entire thing. So all of a sudden this one empty object sort of encompasses the entire environment and allows the animator or anyone to easily recognize the controller for 
the set itself. So that's something you can use. Empty objects are incredibly useful for various different things, uh, especially when you deal with parenting and object origin changes and stuff like that. And yeah, that's our overview for empty objects in Blender.